Hello, my name is Nikolai Mikhanjiev. I'm a professor of Enterprise Information Systems at Alliance Manchester Business School. And uh, I've been asked to, uh, to talk about our work in Industry 4.0. It's normally I start with the vision behind Industry 4.0, which is the vision of extreme flexibility and personalization, where we can, for example, if I would like to have a smartphone, which doesn't exist at the moment, maybe combining the best of class uh, camera with the best of class uh, from iPhone, with the best of class screen from Samsung, and with the uh, sort of modular design for, for input and fingerprints from LG, I can do that and I create a unique personalized smartphone uh, taking the best of class components from different manufacturers. We also talk about uh, new uh, ways of improving the efficiency and the effectiveness of the manufacturing production so that we can remove the unskilled low-level manual labor and we can create ecologically sustainable uh, flexible production facilities back in our doorstep in Europe rather than outsource them uh, far away. Uh, so this is the vision of Industry 4.0. In the UK it's also known as smart manufacturing. Uh, this relies on the capabilities of contemporary technologies. The first relevant technology pillar is the Internet of Things which allows us to deploy thousands of sensors capturing information about the machines, being able to predict when a machine is likely to break down, creating an in silico image of our factory in, inside the computer. Once we have this image, this model of the current status of the factory, we can then deploy artificial intelligence reasoning to allow us to find new, more optimal ways to do our manufacturing production. Uh, of course, in helping us to do that, we have a 3D printing, which allows us to print new forms, shapes, uh, which are not possible to produce with the traditional manufacturing methods, and also allows us to bypass some of the uh, more commoditized suppliers for one-off products for which we don't have a sufficient volume to, to, to buy from, uh, for, from them in bulk. And the uh, uh, key aspect of Industry 4.0 technologies, of course, are ro robots which are there to replace the low-level manual work uh, and not to replace workers, but to increase the, uh, the, the, um, the, skill, uh, the skills required from those jobs in the industry. So that people which go to industry would have a more enjoyable experience. They would not just be working the low-level uh, manual uh, tasks which robots would take over. Um, and here's the role of the university. We need to be here to provide the level of education required uh, for us to be able to work with the technology and to be able to uh, employ people in more design-oriented, in more problem-solving roles in the, in the industry. Where, what our research is focused at the moment is to bring the, bridge the gap between the vision and the technology, uh, which is uh, where the complexity of all the coordination dependencies in contemporary manufacturing stands. Uh, if you think about uh, a one-man artisan workshop, it is extremely flexible. It could be doing different things in the morning, different products in the afternoon. Uh, it is just the people in that workshop and the, uh, the, the tools they have. This is not so in the contemporary manufacturing. Setting up a, a car manufacturing facility, a Volkswagen, for example, takes a number of years before a new model is designed and set up and, and grows into production. So the vision of extreme flexibility hits the problems of uh, millions of coordination dependencies between activities, resources and people inside the factory. And at the moment in my research team we create approaches and methods allowing us to resolve this complexity of these dependencies and to create very flexible manufacturing layouts inside, if we to speak about inside the factory, and also uh, very flexible outside relationships where we can create on-demand teams of suppliers ready to deliver that unique product or very small batch uh, scale products for our, for our factories. So uh, this is uh, the research at the universities at the moment is there to bridge the gap between the vision of extremely flexible lot size of one manufacturing and the underlying capabilities of technologies keeping in mind how complex contemporary manufacturing facilities are. Uh, recent examples is we're working with Airbus uh, in Industry 4.0 project aiming to create dynamic collaborations between suppliers which can provide parts on demand for unique configurations of aircraft. Okay, thank you.